this is a very interesting question and a very interesting topic and if you ask any dotnet developer he will quickly zero down to specific questions like uh, asp.net page life cycle or difference between abstract class and interface you know but that does not answer this question in complete totality and when we talk about it market it is very competitive and the salary structures are zooming to the sky and if you are going to prepare on specific questions and specific topic then you miss the bigger picture of the of the way dotnet interviews are conducted so let's try to answer this question in complete totality or in complete form so what we'll do in this video is you know we will look into different sections you know what are asked in dotnet interviews and then we will zero on to the sections and see that what kind of questions to prepare and what kind of sections to be aware of any question asked in dotnet interviews belongs to one of these four sections so the first section is the dotnet basics the second section is the new technologies the third section is architecture and the fourth one is a process so any kind of questions you know which come in dotnet you know they will belong to one of these uh, four sections now let's try to understand that in each of these four sections you know what are the different subsections uh, and what kind of question can come in those subsections so let's start with the first subsection that is dotnet basics now this section is the most important section and you are either a fresher you are either a project manager or experienced person you know you have to answer the questions which belongs to dotnet basics okay so there is no excuse for saying that okay you know i am a, i am a senior person so probably i will not know object oriented programming i am a senior person so i don't don't know sql so either a fresher or a senior you know if you don't answer questions which belong to dotnet basic subsection then you know you are into a trouble the first section or the first subsection in this section is the basics of dotnet so in basics of dotnet you know you will be asked questions which belongs to like il code uh, clr cts code access security garbage collector uh, global assembly cache um, value types reference types boxing unboxing uh, you know etc etc the next subsection is object oriented programming you know here you will be questioned you know the basics of object oriented programming abstraction encapsulation polymorphism inheritance what is the difference between abstract class and interfaces what is shadowing etc etc the third subsection is sql server uh, here you will be asked you know basics of sql probably you will be uh, you know query to write a sql statement given a scenario uh, indexes cluster indexes non cluster indexes normalization denormalization etc the fourth section is adio.net so here you will be asked questions like you know what is the difference between a data set and a data reader uh, the different uh, components in adio.net like data set data reader data adapter data view connection object etc etc the fifth section is asp.net you know uh, here again you will be questioned like uh, page life cycle post backs http handlers http modules session variables view state how to do authentication authorization etc etc and the final one is web services you know where you will be questioned about soap uh, like wsdl uh, what is a asmx file and what is the use of web services etc so the dotnet basics is the most important section and you know you know as you know you are either a junior or, or a senior right you have to answer questions which belong to dotnet basics the second important sub section is the new technologies and if you are a senior person when i say senior person means you know when you are like about 4 years of experience you know uh, people would expect that you should also know about what kind of new technologies have come up in microsoft arena and the first and the very hot technology which everybody you know queries is wcf so here people can ask you questions like you know what is operation contract what is a service contract what is endpoints what are address binding contracts what's the difference between web services and wcf services etc etc the second important uh, uh, subsection is wpf and silverlight you know where people expect you to answer what is a xaml file what are the different kind of components uh, which are available in silverlight how is the silverlight framework uh, you know why mvvm is good in wpf and silverlight and and those kind of things the third important section which people ask is link queue and entity framework that is or mappers so why do we need link queue why do we need entity framework what is a data context what is a object context you know how do you use stored procedures in entity framework and link queue uh, in what scenarios link queue is good and what scenarios entity framework is good etc etc the next sex sub section which is very important is cloud computing uh, where people ask you questions around uh, tables queues blobs uh, and all the different azure components uh, which help you to do cloud computing uh, the final section is the windows workflow uh, this is not a very important section but in case you know 
uh, sometimes if there are projects in companies which are related to workflow then this section also becomes important so here people ask you questions around you know sequential workflow state machine workflow uh, etc etc the next important subsection is architecture now especially if you're a senior person or if you're a senior technical lead or a team lead and if you're looking for architecture position then definitely people will query around that what kind of design patterns you have used in a project or what kind of design patterns you are aware of so must be like you know uh, probably you would be quick question around factory patterns uh, abstract factory patterns singleton and etc etc and, and what scenarios you know what are good uh, the next kind of question is it's again uh, at the design pattern level but more on the architecture level you know what is the model view controller what is a model view presenter what is a model view view model in what scenarios is model view controller better than model view presenter and when should we use model view view model etc uh, because you are a senior person and a technical person they expect that you should be aware of uml notations so like uh, how to write a use case you know what is a class diagram a sequence diagram and etc etc they expect that you know you are aware of uh, different documentations that are uh, different documents that are available in projects like the technical document how to write it the different sections in technical documentation uh, uh, then you know like uh, how how does the requirement document look like uh, how does the technical document looks like you know etc uh, as a architecture uh, as a architect or a senior person you know they would expect that you understand uh, that how the whole process from requirement to design and to go live actually moves like so again architecture is one of the important sections and especially if you are a senior person they would expect you know answers around this section from you the final section is the process section now the process section you know uh, people will quiz around the process section because they would like to know that uh, are you aware of processes so in other words uh, have you worked with agile do you understand a uh, scrum uh, or do you understand you know how the whole agile process actually looks like uh, do you understand sdlc etc etc second in case you are a senior person uh, they would expect that you you are aware of the different estimation methodologies like function point analysis uh, work breakdown structure uh, and also like you know uh, in case uh, you are a senior person and especially if it's a it's a big company people would expect that you are aware of the cmmi uh, model and you are also aware of Six Sigma so overall right you know when we talk about dotnet interviews right people would like to look at the overall preparation you know rather than looking at specific questions like you know page life cycle or you know uh, what you call abstract classes interfaces etc so when you look at dotnet interviews you know uh, people would expect that you are overall good in various sections you know which I discussed uh, currently so the next thing is that how do we prepare well uh, you know so the best way to prepare is uh, log into your quest one video account and you can see that there are various sections here the dot and fundamental section which covers IL code uh, CLR CTS global assembly cache delegates events ASP.NET authentication authorization you can see that a lot of questions on WCF Silverlight uh, Azure uh, design patterns you know pick four or five design patterns get aware of them SQL performance tuning WPF uh, Visual Studio 2010 uh, SharePoint, uh, VSTS unit testing, MVC, MVP, Windows workflow, uh, UML, uh, then best practices, object programming, function points for doing estimation, SSIS, SSRS, jQuery. So in other words, you know, what, what you can do is best is basically log into your Quest 1 video account and uh, you know rather than going in depth into each of those sections just at least try to skim the first four or five videos so that at least you will you are aware of the topic see when you're preparing for interviews right do not try to get, go in depth and try to do try to become a scientist okay try to you know uh, just skim over the topic try to get aware of the topic topic get aware of you know why that technology is meant for and then uh, basically close the topic over there and move to the next topic so prepare overall you know rather than preparing on specific topics so you know I hope that you know you have enjoyed this video so in this video we discuss about you know what are the various questions which are asked in C sharp and dotnet interviews and how to prepare uh, holistically and completely you know rather than concentrating on specific uh, questions thank you very much